Okay, so I will talk about what uh, what was what happened with the tropical version of the Jacobian conjecture. Uh, so first, I will briefly, uh, very briefly, remind the, the classical uh, uh, Jacobian conjecture. Uh, I would not dwell much on it because there are very good overviews on it uh, with the. Uh, about, in, including the very rich and dramatic uh, history. Uh, and uh, then I will say a few words about uh, actually give notations for the tropical uh, settings, uh, actually repeating some uh, parts of what uh, Stefan just did. And uh, then I will tell about results. Uh, on the tropical uh, tropical version of Jacobian conjecture. Okay, so uh, first about uh, let me briefly remind classical Jacobian conjecture. So we have a, a polynomial map uh, for the say characteristic uh, field uh, zero, and uh, consider uh, the uh, Jacobian of this polynomial map. So consisting uh, the matrix consisting of the partial derivatives. And it's a uh, 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 classical Jacobian conjecture uh, due to Keller, a uh, very old source of, of uh, 39, uh, that if the Jacobian equals to one, then uh, F, uh, so the polynomial map is an I'm isomorphism, and its uh, inverse is also a polynomial map. Um, uh, well, there were a lot of uh, results uh, around it. I, I will just mention a few of them, which have a flavor common uh, with what I will talk about uh, tropical uh, tropical uh, stuff. Okay, so uh, uh, for a for an algebraically closed field F, uh, if F is injective, uh, then F is uh, bijective as well. Um, so. Uh, actually, the proof uh, due to X uh, was model theoretic, and it's very easy in few lines, and uh, it's a reduction uh, to finite fields uh, using Nullstell and that. <coughs> and um, if uh, if you formulate this statement for finite fields, it's trivial because in a finite set, if there is an injective ma map, it's also a bijective. Uh, so it's a very easy but uh, nice uh, result. And uh, one can actually treat a Jacobian conjecture is a local isomorphism. So due to the implicit function theorem, applies a global isomorphism. And uh, another, uh, maybe the second and the last result uh, in this area, which I will mention, uh, is a counterexample, in fact, uh, which shows that uh, the whole uh, issue of Jacobian conjecture is very delicate. So if you consider the real field as a ground field, and uh, uh, the uh, counterexample shows that assumption that uh, just the Jacobian is positive is not enough. Uh, so it is the, the counterexample that we have an uh, not isomorphism with a uh, positive with a positive uh, Jacobian. So the, that uh, it's necessary to have the uh, Jacobian equals actually equals to a constant. So you can consider this constant to be one. Okay, that's all what I wanted to say about the uh, classical, uh, just just to remind the classical uh, uh, conjecture. And uh, now let me briefly uh, uh, in, uh, uh, in, introduce the notations about the uh, tropical world. Okay, so the basic object of the uh, tropical uh, algebra is the tropical semi-ring, and it's endowed with the operations uh, uh, which is denoted in this way, and uh, uh, say uh, the main source of uh, the tropical semi-rings is the following. We take a, a ordered semi-group, and then uh, it's a, it's a semi-ring with inherited operations uh, as the sum for uh, the minimum and the product as the uh, group uh, semi-group operation. Uh, if say you have uh, a, not a, uh, just a semi-group, but rather a group, uh, it could be abelian, 
so uh, always it is ordered then uh, so if it is a uh, group uh, then we are talking about that tropical semi skew field and if it is abelian so it's a group operation is commutative then we are talking about tropical semi field and then we can introduce uh, also the division uh, in the uh, tropical uh, semi field uh, which is uh, in fact the uh, subtraction in the uh, subtraction in the uh, group okay the typical examples uh, are uh, say the uh, non negative non negative integers uh, all the non negative integers uh, with the added infinity uh, these are the uh, examples of commutative tropical semi rings and infinity plays the role of the neutral uh, element and in its turn the zero plays the role of the unity uh, another examples are uh, uh, just uh, so they were these were the examples of the semi rings and if we consider not just the non-negative but the integers uh, or the integers uh, with the added infinity these are semi-fields because they uh, allow allow subtraction so the uh, division division in the uh, uh, tropical tropical division and an example of the non-commutative uh, tropical semi-ring is the uh, uh, the semi-ring of the n by n matrices uh, say over over any of these semi-fields, say over Z with infinity, uh, with um, um, uh, the usual uh, operation for the matrix uh, multiplication. Uh, the, another important object is the tropical polynomial. So to define it, we start uh, with the polynomial, which is just the, uh, the product of a, of a variable. Uh, then, a man, uh, then a monomial uh, actually it is a uh, it is in the classical case in the co uh, coefficient tropical times the uh, tropical monomials and uh, so we can uh, consider its uh, its tropical degree is the sum again is a classical uh, situation the sum of the degree is the sum of the degrees the sum of the powers and uh, classically we can look at this as a, a linear just as a linear function and uh, uh, well this was a monomial and uh, again uh, similar to that uh, uh, classical case we uh, define tropical polynomial as the tropical sum of the monomials and this could be viewed as a uh, classically as the minimum of uh, linear functions so a uh, convex a convex function convex uh, piecewise linear function and uh, well what is uh, so this was uh, before was very uh, typical and uh, similar to uh, classical case but what uh, differs uh, the tropical geometry and what is maybe psychological difficulty usually is understanding is the concept of the tropical zero so we uh, say and uh, it has a lot of justifications the definition uh, that uh, we say that x is a tropical zero if uh, say of the polynomial of the polynomial f uh, if uh, the minimum uh, is attained at, uh, for at least two different values of uh, of uh, j so for a two different for two different uh, tropical monomials so uh, that means that uh, in other words if we uh, consider tropical polynomial as a uh, piecewise linear function uh, then the tropical zero is the uh, points at which uh, the polynomial is is not smooth uh, okay so uh, well we can uh, continue these definitions and extend them to um, uh, tropical algebraic rational functions uh, so uh, now the uh, tropical um, uh, fractions and we have seen that the fraction is a subtraction in the classical sense so uh, this uh, minimum is a tropical polynomial and this is a uh, we can uh, treat as a numerator uh, and the minimum of q's is a denominator and their subtraction uh, the difference is the tropical uh, tropical fraction 
and this we can view as a tropical algebraic rational function uh, and um, uh, where uh, the p's and q's are linear function with rational coefficients um, geometrically it is a piecewise linear function uh, so that means that one can partition the whole space into a finite number of um, n-dimensional polyhedra on each of which uh, this function is linear. Um, actually, uh, conversely, uh, conversely, any piecewise linear function can be represented in this form. So uh, as, the, um, as the difference, uh, difference of two tropical, two tropical polynomials. Uh, moreover, uh, moreover, uh, if you consider uh, uh, any continuous function, uh, it is known that it's a difference of two convex functions. So this is a particular case of this uh, theorem for uh, uh, piecewise linear functions. Uh, actually, more generally, uh, and for our considerations, would be also uh, valid. Uh, one can assume that the coefficients are real, not not just rational uh, or integer, so more co coefficients as it is in the tropical world. But we can uh, consider the coefficients to be real. So just consider any uh, um, piecewise piecewise linear function, and the, the results uh, would be true. Uh, but the main question um, arises uh, how, how to replace uh, the Jacobian for non-smooth uh, tropical algebraic, say, re uh, rational maps. So we have now, this would be our main object, at uh, <coughs> uh, tropical algebraic rational map. So each coordinate is a, uh, is a tropical algebraic rational function. Uh, and uh, so how to how to replace uh, the Jacobian in say in the Jacobian conjecture um, well actually uh, uh, unlike uh, unlike the classical uh, cl situation um, the our situation is a little bit uh, well not a little bit uh, essentially easier because we need to prove only that uh, the uh, map the map is invertible so the inverse does exist because if it does exist then it is also a tropical map so it is a piecewise uh, piecewise linear function and so it can be represented in the same way so we need to test uh, so actually one can view um, the jacobian conjecture as the a criterion for a map to be in isomorphism okay what we'll do uh, first, I uh, would be no uh, unique version of the uh, tropical uh, Jacobian conjecture, but there would be um, at, uh, a one weak and one strong version. Uh, so we start uh, with the weak version, uh, and first uh, we need the following definition. Um, okay, uh, consider a, a tropical map and the uh, and point. And uh, all uh, uh, n-dimensional polyhedra containing p on which f it is linear. So we know that we it, it, it is a tropical map. It is uh, piecewise linear. So uh, we uh, take these uh, the pieces on which uh, f is uh, f is linear. And uh, for each uh, for each of these uh, for each of these linear maps. Uh, with uh, which are which are now Jacobian matrices simultaneously uh, we denote them a1 ak so in the neighborhood uh, in the so that in the neighborhood of the point p so we assume that p is say is in the boundary of uh, say k uh, polyhedra on which uh, the uh, map is linear and we can see this map and, and uh, then we take the Jacobians, so the determinants of these uh, matrices. And uh, uh, um, we consider the convex hull uh, of these matrices and denote the, them by uh, dp of f. Uh, so the first uh, proposition, which is um, uh, which uh, what I call the uh, a weak uh, the weak version of the tropical Jacobian conjecture, that if uh, 
for each uh, for each point p, uh, d p doesn't contain a singular matrix, <clears throat> then f is an isomorphism. So this is a uh, this d p uh, replaces the role of the Jacobian. So we uh, assume that uh, it, uh, that it doesn't contain a singular matrix. That's the um, that's the assumption. And then we uh, state that it's uh, in isomorphism. Actually, the, I can give the proof because it is uh, it is in uh, it goes in few lines. Uh, it relies essentially on the uh, Clark's uh, theorem that F uh, actually Clark's theorem holds for any Lipschitz map is uh, under this uh, under this condition. So then each uh, uh, DP doesn't contain a single matrix, then it's a local uh, homeomorphism. So it's a local theorem, better to say that if DP for a uh, given P doesn't contain a single matrix, then it's a local homeomorphism. And this is true uh, moreover for not only for uh, piecewise linear, but uh, also for Lipschitz maps. Uh, then we use uh, the uh, easy observation that uh, tropical map is a proper map. So the pre-image of every compact is again compact. And uh, this in, uh, implies uh, that uh, 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 so we know already that it's a local homeomorphism and uh, that then because it's proper, then it's a global, a global homeomorphism. So that's the whole proof. Um, okay, Unf unfortunately, so we have a uh, sufficient condition uh, for a map to be in isomorphism, uh, but unfortunately it is not necessary. And uh, uh, I will give a, a counterexample for that, which is also quite uh, instructive. Um, okay, so uh, we can see the a tropical map on the plane. It would be um, it would be isomorphism, and it's a composition of a lower triangular and upper triangular uh, isomorphism. Okay, so this is the lower triangle, and this is the upper triangular. And um, uh, if we consider uh, their composition, uh, then it is a uh, well, it's a uh, it's a linear um, uh, in uh, piecewise linear in four pieces, uh, and uh, uh, on so on four sectors, uh, on four sectors of the origin, like on the picture. And uh, if we consider the uh, D at the origin, then it's a convex hull uh, of the uh, four. Uh, following uh, Jacobian matrices, well, just for from the from the um, formula for the lower lower triangle and upper triangle isomorphisms, uh, uh, and uh, this. So, if we take the sum of the second and the third matrices, uh, we see that it is uh, it is singular when uh, so when the following condition holds. So when the, one of the uh, either beta equals to alpha or b equals to a okay oh sorry uh, when so when the product when the product is uh, equals to four uh, for example one can take uh, alpha and a equals to zero and beta and beta equals to two and so this is a counterexample which shows that uh, this ne ne sufficient condition is uh, un is not necessary and um, uh, it okay. Still, it would be nice to have a, a necessary sufficient condition, uh, and so uh, we start with the following: is the remark that if uh, a tropical map is an isomorphism, then all the Jacobins have the same sign. So either all of them are positive or negative. This is due to uh, due to orientation and. Uh, um, uh, and the degree uh, on the degree of the map uh, e equals equals uh, one, uh, and the question arises when uh, this condition is uh, uh, sufficient. So when the condition of the constancy of the signs of uh, of the Jacobians 
uh, is uh, sufficient to to be, uh, to to be in isomorphism and this is true on the plane when we uh, consider the tropical polynomial map so that uh, both f1 and f2 are tropical polynomials uh, that means so they're convex and then indeed uh, that uh, if all, all the jacobins say are positive then f is an isomorphism but uh, beyond, uh, beyond these uh, conditions uh, on the plane and uh, for the tropical polynomials, this uh, can, uh, sufficient, sufficiency condition is, uh, is not, uh, necessary condition is not sufficient, unfortunately. And uh, uh, the following example shows that, uh, okay, consider uh, the following, now we consider not a, uh, uh, polynomial map, tropical polynomial map, but rather a tropical rational map. Um, so we write here module function, and clearly module function is a uh, is a tropical uh, a tropical rational function. You can easily write it with the um, uh, with the using the subtraction, and the, we consider the following uh, tropical rational map. Um, it has, uh, one can uh, easily verify that it has positive Jacobians uh, in all its uh, linear uh, pieces, in all pieces where it's, uh, the function, uh, the map is linear. Uh, but uh, because uh, this uh, function is uh, uh, central symmetric, uh, it is not an isomorphism. Uh, one can modify, uh, slightly modify this example uh, to, uh, to get a, uh, now a tropical polynomial map rather than a rational map, but uh, in the three-dimensional space uh, with, all positive, uh, with all positive Jacobians. And so being, uh, again, being not an isomorphism. So we see that uh, we have a now necessary condition of uh, positivity, say, of all the Jacobins, but it's not, uh, uh, it's not, sorry, necessary condition, but it's not sufficient. Um, okay, but one can uh, formulate, one can formulate a, necessary and sufficient condition but it's uh, uh, now it looks not not so natural but it's on the other hand it's good to have an algorithm to uh, verify whether a tropical map is an isomorphism so uh, i remind that um, actually this is uh, this definition is uh, holds for any for any uh, for any map uh, so we say that the point is regular if um, for any uh, so it's the point in the uh, in the uh, target. Um, if uh, for any uh, pre-image from from for, from this point, its Jacobian is not zero. Okay, so this then this point is regular, and uh, then uh, the by Sartre's lemma set of regular points, uh, the same, sorry, values is dense. Okay. And then we uh, can formulate uh, now a, uh, simultaneously a necessary and sufficient condition uh, for a tropical map to be uh, an isomorphism. Uh, namely, uh, namely, that means that uh, the condition from the previous slide that all the Jacobins have the same sign. And uh, now uh, we require that at least for one regular value, the pre-image is uh, unique. Okay, well, uh, the necessity is uh, trivial, but uh, the statement of the theorem and this, uh, this condition is uh, sufficient also. So if such a point does exist, at least one point, then the whole the tropical map is an, is an isomorphism. And uh, uh, relying uh, on this theorem, uh, we can uh, now design an algorithm uh, to verify whether a tropical uh, whether a tropical map um, is an isomorphism. Namely, uh, an algorithm uh, yields a partition uh, into polyhedra such that F is linear on each PI. Uh, this can be done, uh, this can be done uh, by means of um, linear programming. 
uh, okay, then uh, if we take uh, any point uh, in the target, which is out of uh, the uh, union of the boundaries, boundaries of this polyhedra, so we take the boundaries of this polyhedra, which are polyhedra of uh, one less uh, dimension, and take the images and uh, subtract them. Then any point uh, out of this uh, out of this union is regular, and we can apply the criterion from the uh, previous uh, theorem. Uh, test uh, test that uh, the pre-image is uh, unique of this point. And if it is the case, then we know from the previous theorem, then uh, we are dealing with um, isomorphism. And uh, all, all this can be performed. Uh, we have an algorithm uh, which tests uh, whether a tropical map uh, is uh, in fact uh, in isomorphism. Okay, and uh, uh, another issue uh, which is uh, related to the Jacobian conjecture is the tameness uh, of the uh, of the automorphisms, uh, and uh, it is a, a classical Dixmier problem. And what do we have in the tropical world? In the tropical world. Um, uh, similar again to the classical but uh, uh, setting but actually uh, we cannot uh, can we cannot use the statement of the classical uh, uh, in the setting but uh, we can we can prove this independently uh, that on the plane uh, indeed uh, indeed any automorphism is tame what does it mean so we define two classes uh, two classes of uh, automorphism the first class is triangle actually we had already an example uh, before uh, so uh, triangle triangle that means with the ch we change this triangle we change one uh, only one coordinate at a time and um, also, we consider uh, an analog of linear tropical rational automorphisms. Uh, so these uh, are automorphism all with a linear and uh, with a determinant uh, with a determinant uh, equals uh, plus or minus one. And um, uh, okay, so the proposition uh, states that. Uh, the group uh, the group of tropical uh, rational uh, homogeneous automorphisms so on the on the plane uh, is generated uh, generated by triangle and uh, linear linear automorphism so it is tame um, in classic in the classical world we know that uh, in the uh, free three dimensional case uh, the uh, group of uh, automorphism is not tame, so it is not generated by triangle and linear automorphisms. Uh, here, uh, uh, this is an uh, here this is an open question, and uh, my conjecture is that this is indeed the case. The group is is also not tame. Okay, thank you, thank you very much for uh, for attention. Thank you, uh, Dima. Uh, so, are there a question for Dima? I, I have a question with respect to last proposition. So, is it related that if we have a convex function, then we can uh, approximate it by the, uh, by the sum of uh, this triangular function? Uh, no, I don't think so because this is not approximation. This is an, an exact statement. You you have a uh, automorphism and you need to represent it um, as a product of uh, triangular and linear linear automorphisms. Yeah, but uh, but in some sense the same ingredients. You have triangular and linear. Yeah. In one you approximate uh, as a sum, but here you have exact. And uh, and then in multivariate case you have to replace uh, triangular by uh, simplexes. Just simplexes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, you can approximate, but here it's it's, it's it is it is an exact uh, it is an ex it is an exact equality of uh, of automorphisms. It's a different yeah, but here thing. because you have a function at piecewise linear, 
Yeah. So, so, so therefore, for piecewise linear, it would be exact. I think so. If you have, uh, so if you have just convex function. Yeah. Uh, then for convex function, you have approximation, but if you have uh, linear, then it will be exact approximation by the sum of linear and at angles. Yeah, again, this, but uh, I can many people, it. people have uh, this lemma by uh, it's called uh, Hardy, Littlewood, uh, and someone. So it is funny, funny. So, so great people with such a funny uh, uh, lemma. And so mm. here, the, that if you have piecewise linear, then it would yeah. be exact. So you can just uh, obtain this piecewise linear function as a, as a sum. I don't know. Oh, I'm not, well, you, you mean the sum, but the sum, well, look, uh, the sum, no, I don't, I, I'm not sure. Well, I, 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 I agree that it's related, but I'm not sure that it, it will give the exact result. Well, it's a good point. I will think, but I don't think that. Uh, I, I yes. think that is. I think it is just the opposite. The statement is. Uh, I mean, it is not tame. Okay, uh -huh. but it's a good point. I'll think about the connection. Yeah, yeah, because I just see the same ingredients. So therefore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ingredients are the same, but it's a different statement. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and in but general. Possible to do with simplexes, and uh, then it's possible to estimate. But uh, but I think there is a problem. So no, not only such a triangle, you have maybe uh, allow some some rotation. So with exact triangles, it's not true in the, for 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 general. And then you have. Yeah. I, I, I forgot exact statement, but uh, but I can find the difference. Mm -hmm. can... Ah, yeah. Okay. Let us send me then the link. Yeah, yeah that would be interesting. To look for, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank, okay. thank you for a nice talk. Okay. Oh, uh, there are no questions, so we stop here. We have a break until um, eleven fifty. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Black, for the interaction also.